Hey guys, welcome back to the Champion 201 Revival. And in today's video, um, we're just gonna be putting on a lot of parts. Uh, as you guys saw in the last video, we got a bunch of stuff ordered for the motor. We got a bunch of stuff ordered for the trailer. And now all those parts are starting to show up. So we're going to get, hop into that. But before we get into that, today I'm gonna be removing this foot tray for the uh, trolling motor uh, foot pedal. And we're going to go ahead and we'll strip it down and we'll repowder coat it since we have those capabilities. Um, I don't know. We might actually paint it because it has this, this stuff on it. But we will see. Um, like I said, we started to get some parts in. And some of it is just what we had laying around here at the shop. Let's see if I can open this little baggie. So we're going to pretty much replace every switch on this boat. They're all really nasty and messed up and um so we're gonna go ahead and do that so i had some here at the shop i had some two position switches just simple on off they're the red type so they're really nice they'll match the boat so i got four of those and then up here we have a uh cigarette lighter uh plug and uh that's definitely it's to me it seems aftermarket like somebody put it on after um i'm gonna replace that with the usb plug so if somebody wants to uh you know, charge their phone up here, make some dope YouTube videos, whatever. Uh, they'll have that capability. And uh, like I said, we're going to be replacing all that. I need to grab another USB because there's one over there too. Big old hole in the side of the boat. So yeah, we're going to go ahead. Let's get this taken apart and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so just took the trolling motor tray out, and as usual, when you open compartments, you find joyous little things. Uh, so the trolling motor cables were cut short and were kind of spliced into this situation. I've never seen one of these before. Um, so we got a hot in the ground, and we got two wires here that start running to the back of the boat, and then I got a hot in a ground tied together like i don't really know what's going on there so we're gonna check that out and i just got some some trash and some junk so we'll check into all that but um i see a lot of a lot of comments about especially on the 363 you know oh well you didn't restore it all the way the foam's filled with water and all that to me guys this foam like i, I don't know i'm not a foam guy it seems pretty pretty dry to me um so this is a spot where a lot of water is going to come in because it's a big old open hole so yeah we're gonna work on stripping that down get that ready to be recoded and then we're going to have to address this <laughs> So I got it powder coated up, all stripped down and powder coated, just waiting on the oven to heat up. We're gonna throw it in there. The next day. So yesterday, we uh, we did some work, preliminary work on the trailer to get parts ordered and stuff. So we're still waiting on some parts, some to come in. I'll show you guys that in a minute. We went ahead and we powder coated the uh, foot tray black. We stripped all the old powder coat off, the old paint, and it looks really good. Um, I am gonna put a piece uh, foam kind of like he did but uh, I need to get some new stuff and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the foam that we use for the flooring to match um, like I said we did get some parts in 
for the trailer but nothing that we can really use to get started on it we got our uh, disc brake drums we got our disc brakes and you guys already knew that we had some of the engine parts so we got this in here we got all of our fluids hanging out we got some electrical stuff so today uh, i'm gonna just kind of go around and install some of the stuff that i can uh, maybe take the lower unit off do all that so um i'm gonna start with the spark plugs i've got a pack of spark plugs right here these are mgk you can just see the part number right there so this is for a 225 black max and uh what's really nice about this champion is i have all the old books for it which guys you know save the stuff it doesn't it will matter down the line when you sell your your boat so i have the operation and maintenance manual for the outboard which is super nice so i went to maintenance you know look at spark plugs so i need to tighten it to 20 foot pounds and it says to go to the chart in the front of the book for gap which is right here go on down and right there is your gap and what's nice is if you order this part number here the dash 10 that is that means it's pre-gapped uh to to the right thing so it's 0 0.04 inches 40 thousandths and uh it lines right up let me see if i can get this for you so there we go not perfect but i'm not gonna suppose that this thing is perfect either so I'm still going to go through and I'm going to check all six of the ones that I'm going to, going to install, make sure that they're all gapped correctly, and then we will go ahead and we'll take the old ones out and we'll get the new ones put in. And like I said, it said that it was a 20 foot pounds. I'm just going to discount double check. 20 foot pounds of uh, torque to uh, tighten these up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get these all checked and get them put in the boat. Okay, so we got the uh, spark plugs put in, put a little bit of dielectric grease on them. We're all good to go, nice and torqued down tight. So uh, we've got a couple more parts we're gonna put in. We're gonna go ahead and put this inline filter in and we'll go ahead and we'll put the um, belt on, which is up under here, both of the them. So we're just gonna go ahead, let's get to it. the new belt in as you can see we've slid forward quite a bit but i mean this thing's nice it's it's tight uh here's the old belt a little misshapen but uh i don't think the belt's necessarily in bad shape but we just went ahead and replaced it so uh i'll double check with grumpy tomorrow make sure that this is all tight now what we're gonna do is one of my favorite things in the whole world to do pool lower units Woo! okay guys so i got my uh oil pan here i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna drain the lower unit oil and kind of slide it up the uh two screws are right there so we're gonna pop those loose guys i'd recommend if you know, if you're going to do your lower unit oil, get a big, fat screwdriver. Um, especially if you have those flathead types. So this one is a uh, half inch. 
and this one's a little bit smaller one and these are great because you get a lot more meat as compared to you know just a standard standard flathead uh, that's a big beefy one but I would say this is about standard for a flathead and just kind of look at the difference uh, obviously you don't have to get snap-on but a big thick fat screwdriver will save you from a world of hurt because these things can be a big pain in the butt to get out sometimes especially if someone hasn't changed the oil in a while so enough of me talking last thing uh, is have your motor trim or your your uh, trailer jack all the way down so you have enough room to fit this under try to get this as low as possible so all the oil will drain so I'm gonna pop it loose let it start draining and then I'm gonna trim the motor up so it all kind of flows out Got the lower unit off. Um, a couple tips I didn't give you before um, I did this is make sure that the uh, engine is in gear so that when you go to put the shaft back on you can turn the prop uh, or when you go to put the lower unit on you can turn the prop which will spin the shaft to line the splines up. If not sometimes it can be a big pain in the behind. Um, second thing is as you guys might have saw I totally forgot to take out the the nut or the bolt that goes in here in the bottom of the lower unit so uh, you take off uh, this cap to remove the anode and then that gives you access to this nut uh, just man, just totally forgot could not understand why it wouldn't wouldn't come off so now that we got that off and over here uh, last thing is to disconnect your water line like uh, your little inlet line um, this that one's it's broke which is kind of big pain in the butt um so gonna have to go ahead and order that but now that we got that done um i'm not gonna i might pull this is crazy it's like a joint shaft never never saw that uh, i wonder what that's about um i'm gonna go ahead i've had terrible issues with these before i'm gonna spray these the penetrating lube and let it sit for a little while before I get into digging those um, and uh, yeah I don't have all the parts so that's about it we're gonna go ahead we'll do a quick cleanup and kind of see where we're at I put the oil pan underneath because our hydraulic steering is just leaking like a sieve alrighty guys so got uh, quite a bit of work done today even though I had some installations I had to get to um, just a quick recap of what we got done is we went ahead and we obviously removed the lower unit that was one of the last things we did it is sitting over there we drain the lower unit fluid as well and uh next we're going to replace the impeller and the seals in there i recommend uh spraying some uh penetrating lube on those bolts because i have broken one off before and it is not good so i'm gonna get sit there i'm gonna spray a little bit more before i leave we went ahead and we re replaced all the spark plugs we got them torqued down to 20 foot pounds we got a new uh belt and a new fuel filter everything written on i need to write the date on the belt and we got some more parts in parts 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 we got uh what do we get we got the impeller so we can get that done and we got seals, for, or um, not seals, uh, gaskets, whatever, for the fuel pump. And here's our used parts. We got hubs, we got brakes, and we got more parts coming in slowly but surely. And up here, pretty much, like I said, all we did is we got the uh, thing repowder coated. came out looking really nice. So I'm going to leave that open and figure out what is going on here because we got, what's nice about these is these are all labeled. 
uh, we got trolling motor battery number one and trolling motor battery number two that's just tied in together and I don't understand like it's 12 volt 12 volt were we running 12 volts who knows and just who knows what's going on so that's it for today guys uh, so that's it for today guys if you liked the video please give us a thumbs up and comment down below if you've ha ever had any issues while working on a lower unit uh have you forgotten to take a bolt off and spent 20 minutes trying to figure out why your lower unit won't drop off <coughs> talking about me or have you broken a bolt off or whatever i would love to hear some crazy lower unit stories down below did you shred the gears what's going on let me know i want to hear it down below and until next time, guys, we've got a lot more work to do on this champ, and this champ will be for sale at the end of this series. So if you are interested, if you want to put your name down to be contacted when the boat is done, uh, just hit us up in the comments or shoot me an email. I'll leave all my contact information down below. So, guys, until next time.